Now that I have reviewed some of these patterns, I like to end the session with some real life cases from different hospitals where they have shared the story of their patients with me personally. The first patient is the case of a 33 year old man who has a confirmed diagnosis of idiopathic primary generalized epilepsy who had been drinking quite heavily prior to his arrival to the emergency department. The ED doctor became concerned about this case and consulted the neurology service. Neurology suggested cerebral EEG right away. The ED doctor put the cerebral headband on the patient, connected it to the recorder, and listened to the sound. As you see, loud, repetitive, continuous, not flat tone. That's why this is very concerning for seizure. He called the neurologist right away, and the neurologist went to the portal and reviewed the EEG waveforms. This patient was treated in the emergency department right away with a load of valproic acid, and shortly thereafter, patient regained his awareness, stopped confabulating, and his altered mental status improved rapidly. Afterwards, the patient was discharged from the emergency department. He confessed that he has not been taking his anti-seizure medications in the last week. The second case, is the case of a highly functioning individual who came to a major academic center after witnessed convulsive seizure at home. This is a patient who has a known tumor in his right temporal lobe. After convulsive seizure, he was not returning back to baseline. The emergency department was very concerned about the case because he was severely altered. They didn't know if the patient is suffering from postictal state or the patient has received benzodiazepines and that is why he is semi -stressed. After consultation with the neuro ICU team, they decided to admit him to ICU. The fellow in this large academic center grabbed the cerebral recorder, put it in his pocket and ran to the emergency department and applied the EEG at the bedside. He ordered phosphenatoin STAT as this patient was having partial status epilepticus in the right side. 19 minutes after the fellow's arrival at the bedside, seizure was stopped. Last is the example of a patient who was admitted to the ICU. Imagine you are a neuro ICU fellow or attending and you have been called to the bedside because this patient has started exhibiting involuntary repetitive movements. She is sedated and intubated, and you want to know if these involuntary movements are seizures. Your on-call EEG techs are at home. You have two choices. Either you call the EEG techs, go back to sleep, wait for the EEG techs to come and hook up the EEG and wake you up again, and you review the EEG then, or you go to the bedside, you know how to set up the cerebral rapid response EEG and you manage the patient based on what you see or what you hear at the bedside. This attending went to the bedside right away. And here is a video of the patient exhibiting those repetitive movements that I mentioned. You are hearing the brain stethoscope at the base. You are hearing the brain stethoscope in the background, visual display of the patient's EEG, showing these repetitive, sharply contoured, continuous epileptiform discharges, indicating status epilepticus. This patient received another load of anti-seizure medication. Her facial movements stopped, the EEG waveforms improved, and the sound turned into a sound of a non-seizure pattern. 